Funky Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her assistant, Nelly Welly. And today we're going to do a cool experiment. Well, well. But before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. Balloons come in various shapes, colors, and sizes. Balloons are rubbery and stretchy. There are areas of the balloon which are more stretched than others. In this experiment, we aim the skewer for the center of the end of the balloon. We will therefore make a balloon skewer. If you have ever eaten a mishkaki, then you will get what I mean. This is what we will require. A sharp wooden skewer balloons. And remember kids, always have an adult supervising you as you do this experiment. Safety first! Always! So then you ready? Are you ready to start? Yes! Pick a balloon and blow the balloon. Blow, blow, blow. Blow the balloon. Okay, that should be enough. And then I'm going to take it from you and tie it. Secure. and look for one that's quite sharp and then we're going to poke a hole from this end to this end and are you ready yes okay so you pick the sharpest skewer. yes yes make sure your skewer is sharp enough huh, to poke a hole from one end to the other so poke a hole ah, can you see it's poked a hole then poke it to the other side can you see oh why is that it bust <laughs> Hold the balloon. Can you see it? Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. There are areas of the balloon which are more stretched than others. If you try to pierce the balloon from the side, that is, where it is most stretched, the balloon rubber will tear itself apart due to the elastic tension over the rubber. Piercing the balloon through the bottom of the balloon is the best place. The rubber has less elastic tension and the rubber itself will grip onto the skewer due to friction. This is a great way to show that science can be found in all sorts of places. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment like we were. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!